So when you see this kind of question, the first thing that should come to your mind is difference of c squared. Because here is squared, and this can be written as what? c squared, right? So this is x raised to power 2 minus what? c raised to power 2. Because c raised to power 2 will give it as c, right? Now, you can, do you know you can apply difference of c squared here? Now, from difference of c squared, if you have a squared minus b squared, this can be written as what? a plus b and what? a minus b. If you apply difference of two squares, you get this. Now you can see that there is a square here, there's a square here, there's a square here, and there's also a square here. Minus is here, minus is here. So we can just move this to this form. So this becomes what? X plus C and what? X minus C. So this is our answer for this. Now here we can also apply difference of two squares to be what? Y square minus what? Nine square. Because nine square will give you 81, right? If I apply difference of two squares here, this becomes what? Y plus 9 and what? Y and what? Y minus 9 as my answer. Bye.